Cause my spicy chicken sandwich is too bootylicious for you, babe. Destiny's Child should come back, like immediately, together. Hey everyone, welcome back. This morning, we went to La Brea Bakery. We've heard about this place. We've seen the shows on Netflix. Everything is made fresh. I'm gonna show you one of these. Oh, there's still more. Okay, let's get into it. We have a lot of ingredients that I need to take you through because we are making our spicy chicken sandwich and we're making a secret sauce. Okay. Organic chicken thighs, eggs, flour, bread and butter pickles, butter lettuce, cayenne, goji jang. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Which is a spicy hot pepper fermented paste. Salt, smoked paprika, your favorite mayonnaise, hot sauce. Let's not forget about our brioche rolls. And also some vegetable oil, which I have heating up behind me. I'm gonna clean all of this off and then let's get into the prep. And we have the perfect plates for this. Two eggs, we're gonna go in. Just drop a little bit of water into here, maybe like a teaspoon. The goal here is to just whisk everything together, get it all incorporated. That looks great. And the flour. Looks to be about a half of a cup. I'm adding a pinch of cayenne. We're gonna add two. A pinch of salt. Let's just add two. Two pinches of smoked paprika. Just spread it out. This is where our hot sauce comes into play. We're gonna put a few droplets in here. <laughs> Police are just circling our block. Okay. It's a building fire. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a building fire. Okay. It's not our building. We're not lighting anything on fire yet. I just see oil. <laughs> it's like smoking behind me. All right, let's try this one more time. I'm gonna add a few drops of my favorite hot sauce. By doing this, not only I'm adding flavor, but I'm creating crispy, crunchy outside to the chicken thigh when we put it on our sandwich. Our oil's heating up behind me. You want it super, super, super hot. Let me get our chicken thighs ready. Take our chicken thighs. Drop them in. What we're looking for on here is a good coating on the outside. Eggs to flour, flour to eggs, and then eggs to flour again. Mm. I'm gonna take these two over and I'm going to show you how we can tell if our oil is ready to drop them in. The easiest way to tell if your oil is ready, one, it looks ready right now, but if you're not sure and you don't have a thermometer, Take a wooden spoon and just push it against the bottom of the pan that you're frying in. And if it sizzles, it's ready. I feel like I have to be careful here. I don't have an apron on. Drop the chicken in away from you. Please, away from you. If not, you will burn yourself. Woo! We are sizzling up. Is it smoky? I'm gonna flip them. I know that looked <laughs> a little crazy for a second there. However, our chicken looks awesome. It fried up super nice. We have a great color on it. I transferred it to another skillet. I'm gonna to toss it into the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. So it cooks all the way through. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. I mean, it looks like we're about to burn the house down. Well, at least the police are close by, <laughs> right? This is gonna be so good though. Ooh. 
This looks crazy, but I swear this is worth it. This chicken sandwich is gonna be so good. this is worth it. It's smoking up in here and we are about to put these back in the oven for on 350 for a few more minutes while we clear out the smoke in here. We'll be right back. That was like scary for a second. I'll tell you this much. That crust is gonna be crispy. Now that we've averted a crisis and I'm back, thank God for the Dyson and our fans and the fresh air that's coming in because that could have been really bad. We're gonna make our not so secret sauce. For this, you're gonna need your favorite mayonnaise, bread and butter pickles, and the goji jam and a container to put it in. We are going to, oh my God, what the? Oh, this is embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> we are going to cut up four bread and butter pickles and try and finely dice these as best you can. Drop them in. I told you about this before, but gochujang is, it's a fermented hot pepper paste. It is super spicy. So try not to use a lot. And if you don't want this, you can use sriracha, whatever you want, it's okay. And then your favorite mayonnaise. Two tablespoons of this. We're not measuring here. Okay, we're adding three. And mix it all up. And there we go. And I'll show it to you. It's this beautiful orange, red, spicy color. Leave your bread and butter pickles out and get your favorite lettuce and your rolls. It's time to check on our chicken, make sure it's all good, pull it out of the oven and assemble our sandwiches because I'm starving. Oh, see, it was worth it. Let me move this and show you. You can see that crispy, crunchy exterior. You can hear it sizzling still. This is amazing. I'm gonna put it down on here and move it over to the stove so I can get my plates ready and start assembling. Just two sandwiches. Not, not too crazy tonight. Our lettuce is pre-washed, but just giving it another quick wash. One piece on. We want to add a good helping of our not so secret sauce. Oh my God, I have to show you this because it looks so good. And then I'm going to add two more bread and butter pickles on top of the lettuce. One piece of chicken for each sandwich. Oh, the crust. What? It's so big. It is big, but this is, this is the way you eat a crispy chicken sandwich. Nobody wants like a tiny piece of chicken. Put your roll on. And there you have it. Your spicy chicken sandwich. Fire not included. If you have a different recipe, mm, I don't want to share that. All I want is the sandwich. Ah. Thank you for joining us today in the kitchen. It was a dicey one today, but we hope you enjoy this and tag us, like us, subscribe. Talk to you guys soon. If you have something that you want to try at home, let me know. And I want to try it too.